Hello, princesses, and welcome back to Not Fit for Print Beauty with me, Rebecca. Today, we are going to be comparing some shampoos. 17 brands, to be specific. I might sneak one or two more in here, so there's probably more like 18 or 19. I'd have to go recount. There's a lot of brands. I've been on a shampoo journey, and when I decided to make this video, I tried even more. And what I've done is divided these shampoos and the conditioner that goes along with each shampoo into three categories. Good enough, you know, it would work if you were at a hotel and you just needed to wash your hair. Amazing, like this is your ideal shampoo. And then bad, shampoos that I cannot stand. Let me tell you the requirements before you come for me because shampoo can be a kind of personal thing and I, I really don't want the townspeople assembling with torches and pitchforks and coming to get me. You are welcome, of course, of course, to disagree in comments and I would love to hear your story. So these are all, I'm gonna use big descriptive adjectives like terrible, awful, worst, best superlatives, you know, but these are truly my opinions. Let me tell you about my hair journey. Let me tell you what what the shampoos, the types of shampoos I'm looking at here and why. Okay, so my whole life I never colored my hair. And what I finally started doing a few years back is highlighting it. As you can see, I have kind of a bronzed color hair. So I started highlighting it. I used to use whatever shampoo before I did the highlights when it was just my hair, which is this kind of brown color. Um, I used to use whatever shampoo the salon recommended, and I went to good salons, they recommended good shampoos. Once I started highlighting, I noticed that my hair started feeling like straw, it wasn't my hair. And it took me a minute, as smart as I like to think I am, and I guess I don't really catch on too quickly, to realize that highlights are essentially done with bleach. More than that, but bleach. And bleach dries your hair out like straw. So I went on a search to find the best hydrating, nourishing shampoos. I have very, very thick hair too thick. I won't complain because I do agree it's better than the alternative, but I have very, very thick hair and when it becomes brittle, it is horrible. What do I look for in a shampoo? And then we are going to get started. We have 17 brands. I look for a shampoo that will keep my hair feeling nice, soft, supple, and manageable for days. I am not an everyday washer. It gets dry and I like to wash my hair, oh, really about every four or five days. It just doesn't need it that much. So if I were doing some farming, I would love to be a farmer. So if I were doing some farming in the field, I would definitely have to uh, wash it more often, um, but I don't do too much manual toil. So I am looking for something that keeps it feeling fresh and nice for quite a few days. If a few days in, it feels dry, it goes on the bad list. And if a few days in, it feels yucky and greasy, it also goes on the bad list. So those are my criteria. Let's start with good enough kind of for whatever you got, okay? Now, I am doing shampoos and conditioners. We are not looking at hair care products. So we are not looking at styling creams, oils, some of these brands, I don't like their shampoo so much, but I love the other products. So I'll give that a mention, but this really is a shampoo and conditioner video, okay? So let's just get that straight. Okay, so don't come for me, just my opinion. I love, this is the OK, and I've got, oh, I've got two or three on the OK. I love the Briogeo Don't Despair Repair um, mask. I think that is a fantastic hair mask. What happens, however, when a brand does really, really, really well with a certain product? We know this with Charlotte Tilbury Pillow Talk, NARS with their O, we'll just put it, etc., etc. Um, we just make whole brands within brands. So the Briogeo Don't Despair Repair uh, mask is amazing. However, the Don't Despair Repair uh, shampoo and conditioner, um, and you can get each for like mm, anywhere, depending on the size you get, anywhere from like $36 to $58, is a very respectable, very good shampoo. It is not horrible, nor is it great. Again, their hair mask is exceptionally good. The shampoo and conditioner that go along with it gives me the so-so mark. This is in my so-so category. Also, so-so is Bumble and Bumble Invisible Oil Shampoo and Conditioner. The hairdresser's visible, invisible oil is $12 to $75, depending on the size that you get. My daughter loves it for her curls. For me, it's one of those that feels nice, and then a day or two in, it feels dry and unmanageable, and that was really the same with the Briogeo. I like Bumble and Bumble products. I use the um, hairdresser's invisible oil spray. Again, this is just a shampoo video, but some of the um, products around it are not 
are not bad either. This is just kind of a C mark. It's Bumble and Bumble lately have not been my absolute favorite. If you were to use this, in my opinion, it would give you a really nice, good looking hair for a day or so, but it doesn't really last. The Moroccan oil products, um, I have the original Moroccan oil here. This is just incredibly good stuff, but then it has, and it has styling creams that are great as well, but it has shampoos and things to go with it. Kerastase, the same thing, and they're just okay. Just okay. They're not great. They're not bad. You could get a nice hair wash with them. All right, now, I'm gonna tell you my absolute favorites, and you're welcome to disagree with the okay set. I'm gonna tell you my absolute favorites. These are what I recommend, and then we'll get into the kind of fun part, because it's kind of mean, the ones I hate. Okay, you know, if you have been watching my channel at all for any amount of time, that I love me the Olaplex. I love Olaplex shampoo. I love Olaplex conditioner. That's four and five. They are anywhere from 14 to $28, depending on the size you buy. This is my absolute favorite shampoo. My own hairdresser, Gladys, doesn't like this. She feels it weighs down her hair. Um, and my friend Marion tried it. And Marion, you'll have to correct me if I'm wrong. I don't think you liked it that much. So it really is a personal preference thing. To me, if I had to use only one shampoo forever, it would be Olaplex. It is my absolute favorite favorite. If you haven't tried this, if you have dry, damaged, or brittle hair, or unmanageable hair, I can't believe you wouldn't try this. It is a bit pricey, 36 to 58 bucks each. It's amazing. They have great sales and things. Amazing and cheaper. Let's talk about Verb hydrating shampoo and conditioner. They're 18 to $40. I did the jumbo size of Verb um, and I got both together and they're $68. Verb is amazing. Together, these giant jumbo sizes were 68. And you know, you could buy a little one for travel for $18. Um, so this is like much, much more affordable and I think makes my hair feel really nice, really hydrated, really supple for a five days or so. And it's totally affordable. So I'm not just about the expensive. And of course, if you have thinner hair, we know that Verb also makes their Ghost Shampoo, which I haven't tried because I have, as I said, very thick hair. But apparently if you have thin hair, the Verb Ghost Shampoo, also affordable, and it's like it was never there, like a ghost. So that is a really good, good one. Christopher, Christoph Robin. I almost said Christopher Robin. I have Winnie the Pooh on the brain. Christoph Robin has a hydrating shampoo and conditioner. Um, and they are $34. I really like this. It's just a darn good kind of clarifying hydrating shampoo. If you haven't tried Christoph Robin products, they are absolutely amazing. Um, and I just think this is a really, really good one. You know, for 34 bucks, again, you're spending more than you would on Olaplex, and I do prefer Olaplex, but I must recommend this gentleman's hair care products as they are amazing, amazing. Okay, let's go on to either Davines or Davines Momo. Davines or Davines Momo. There is a shampoo and conditioner. I am out of the shampoo and haven't replaced it because as you can see, I have quite a few shampoos to get through. But I want to show you the conditioner. This stuff is so crazy. So it is, let me see if I can get it up to the camera. Sorry, it's a little yucky looking. It is as you're looking, oh, it smells so good. This is like a goop and you put it and you get it in your hand like slime. And then, I know that sounds gross, I'm not doing it any favors, but you get it in your hand like slime and you put it on your hair and it smells so good. No, I don't like perfumey things either. I just like a nice fresh smell. If it's perfumey, I'm not interested in it. This stuff is super good and it's kind of hard to find, so I definitely linked it below, but it is absolutely beautiful and leaves your hair so nice. There's also a spray that goes with it, the shampoo, the conditioner, the spray, amazing and left my hair absolutely beautiful. I was completely blown away <laughs> by Way. Way is of course O-U-A-I, but pronounced Way. They have three different hyd hydrating shampoos for three different hair types, thin, thick, and kind of medium. I chose thick and I was so happy. The scent is absolutely gorgeous. A community member here, Veronica, is in love with it as well. And it is just Oh my gosh, it's just so perfect. It's not floral, it's not overwhelming, it's just clean and high-end smelling, and it made my hair so soft. I didn't know whether to get the medium or the thick, and I think I probably could have done both. I think of my hair as thick, this is dripping down my arm from the shower. <laughs> I think of my hair as really thick, but I'm wondering if compared to some it might be medium, I don't know, but I use the thick and I absolutely love it, the conditioner as well. It is lovely. How about Purology? 
I tried the Pureology Nanoworks Gold. Pureology has quite a few different shampoos, and I worked this one into the rotation solely to get ready for this video. Super, super impressed. Pureology Gold Works, or Nanoworks, excuse me, Gold, is specially formulated for damaged hair. My hair is not damaged, but all those, you know, the, all those highlights I put in it obviously doesn't do it any favors. And this made it soft. It really, it, everything in my shampoo collection has to go up against Olaplex. So if it's as good as Olaplex, it's never going to be better. If it's as good as Olaplex, it made my good list. And this was really good if you have ever seen this Pureology Gold. Um, do you know what I was actually really surprised was amazing? Really, really surprised was the Brazilian shampoo by uh, the Rio de Janeiro shampoo folks. You know, they make the Sol de Janeiro, I should say. <laughs> I said Rio. The Sol de Janeiro uh, guys, they make those that beautiful, beautiful uh, body butter that smells so lovely, but it kind of competes with your perfume. Let me tell you what I liked about this. It did leave my hair surprisingly. I thought they shouldn't be dipping into the shampoo market, but they did an amazing job. This does have the same scent. If you have tried the lotion on your legs or stomach or back, it is the same scent, less overpowering. Sometimes even when it's just on my legs, it's too much for me and you can't wear other perfumes. This did not compete, but four days later, if I moved my hair over, I could still smell it in my hair and it was really, really nice. So it is, think of the lotion on your legs, but oh gosh, 50% 50 subtler with that same what I compare to Olaplex. Why do I keep talking about Olaplex? I want you to know where I'm coming from when I say I hate or love a, cer a certain shampoo. If I'm hitting on anything that you agree with, then I'm assuming we'll fall into the same categories. And of course, anywhere along the line that you're disagreeing, go for it. Comment below. I love a good discussion. I was surprised by this one. I really thought I would hate the Sol Janeiro one, and I don't. I loved it. I really enjoyed it. We have some dry shampoos to discuss, and then I'm going to get into the shampoos I absolutely hate. There are two dry shampoos that I love. One of them is, of course, the gold standard, and that is Orbe Gold Lust. This is an incredibly good dry shampoo. I have the bigger bottle as well, but it's stuck into the camera, so I brought out my travel size. My daughter is in her early teens, and she is addicted to this, unfortunately, because you spray the darn thing into the air, and it's immediately... It immediately uh, costs too much money. I think this is like, can be like $48 for the big one. And so when my daughter uses it all over her hair, I, I try to get her the drugstore one and she's like, oh, I don't like this. Yeah, I'm sure, because you've tried the Orbe. Oh my goodness. And the other one is by um, um, this amazing hairdresser in Britain, in Scotland actually, called Sam McKnight. He makes a dry shampoo called Lazy Girl, which is amazing. My Lazy Girl is in my bag, actually in the car. So I brought out um, Cool Girl, which is his texturizing spray, which also I sometimes use as a dry shampoo. All of these Sam McKnight products are like Lazy Girl's like $27, $28, um, and totally worth it. I think Sam McKnight's Lazy Girl, I'm holding up Cool Girl, but Lazy Girl, I think, is the best, best dry shampoo out there, followed only by very expensive, pricey Orbe, this Orbe Gold Lust dry shampoo. I wouldn't use any dry shampoos but those two, and I very rarely use dry shampoos, but when I do, those are the only two I'll go for, and I've tried every other one. All right, this only leaves us with the negative, and I'm saving the worst for last. It is such an awful shampoo, I can't even tell you. But let's talk about some other bad ones. My daughter and I worked through Diva Curl, the low poo, the no poo. Uh, my daughter has very curly hair. Hated it, hated it, hated it. Then all those rumors started that it makes your hair fall out. I don't think that's true, but you can comment on that below. But it kind of freaked us out, didn't do them any favors. And she felt that it did really well on her hair, but kind of plateaued. Speaking of plateaus, I don't know, I kind of sometimes feel that I that shampoos will plateau. You know my devotion to my Olaplex, I make sure to use it, then use another one, then use another one, and then back to the Olaplex. I definitely interchange shampoos because I feel like they do have a kind of point where they kind of build up in your hair and stop working. I don't know if it's in my head, but I'd love to hear what you think about that. Uh, so I don't like Diva Curl. Orbe, I love, as you know, their dry shampoo, but I don't like his shampoos. I have used the shining one, the one that adds shine. 
hated it, made my hair feel like a grease ball. I have used the hydrating ones, made my hair feel dry. We love Orbit. Oh, shampoos don't work for me, so let me know. Amika, I have the same experience with. I'm always less than impressed with Amika products, no matter what they are. From, I bought a um, brush, you know, a straightening brush from Amika. Didn't like it. The GHD straightening brush is awesome, so straightening brushes can be amazing. Amika's was if you are an Amika fan, if you are Mrs. Amika, Amika's mother, um, I know you're going to come for me. Please, you can defend Amika in the comments. I don't mind. Uh, Living Proof is another one I used to love but now hate. Let me tell you. When I use Living Proof, if I wash my hair two days later, it's fine. When I need to go five days with Living Proof, it feels dry and brittle after about two. And I'm just like, oh, i got to wash my hair. When did I wash it? Two days ago? Ugh. And I realize it's only when I use Living Proof. It's affordable and all that good stuff. It's like 29 to 59 and I'm talking the Restore uh, shampoo and conditioner. I find really, really dry hair about two days in. It's not worth it. I'm giving it to my kids. You should see their, sh their shower. They have everything good. And last but not least, the worst shampoo, in my opinion, ever made on the entire planet. Let's see if you can guess. Are you ready? Are you ready? Drunk Elephant. They have a shampoo and conditioner that is so incredibly bad. It's anywhere from $25 to $55, depending on um, the size that you get. It is absolutely horrible. Okay, I used Drunk Elephant the last time I went to get my hair done because I was preparing for this. And I love Drunk Elephant and all of their skincare. I absolutely love it. So I used the shampoo, assuming I would love it. Just like I assumed I would hate the Sol J Nero, I assumed I would love Drunk Elephant. My hairdresser was horrified. Have you ever had a hairdresser horrified? She put her hands in my hair and she went, oh my God, what's wrong with your hair? What happened? Why is it so dry? Like she was terrified. She was so worried that just something had gone completely wrong in my life. And I told her I tried the Drunk Elephant shampoo and she's like, you must burn it right now. It is horrible. And I have heard this from others of you as well. Both the shampoo and the conditioner within a day, they're supposed to be hydrating, glossing. They're supposed to make your hair look glossy and smooth. They are horrible. Worst shampoo I have ever tried, hands down. Today I have, I actually got my hair um, blown out the other day. So this is Enjoy. So this is our 18th or 19th brand, actually. We have more brands in here. And I actually really like it. It's what my hairdresser likes and uses. I don't use it at home, but it's really nice when she uses it. And I feel it interrupts that cycle of a plateau. But for me, the worst ever made is Drunk Elephant. The best ever made is of course Olaplex in my estimation, but I wanna hear down below, leave your best ever shampoo, leave your worst shampoo you've ever tried, and while you're down there, let me know if you kind of feel that some, that some shampoos plateau if you use them, you know, every single week. Also, oh, while you're in comments, let me know how often you wash your hair. Are you an everyday washer? Or do you wash every four days? What kind of hair do you have? Is yours like mine? Is it thin? Does it get greasy? Let me know all the stuff down below. Let us have a conversation. All of these brands, this video has been in the works, honestly, for months. It has taken me forever to compile this. And I have all these crazy notes with like annotations in red, yellow, green. So much fun to do this research. So I would love to have you weigh in on it as well. Comment below. Give this video a thumbs up if you enjoyed it. I sure hope that you did. And if you haven't already done so, please subscribe to my channel. I will see you all in the next video. Bye-bye.